Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Korea. And this time, we're playing as Sejong. It's been a while since I've actually played Korea as a civilization. And our main goal this episode is to optimize our next trigger of the Hangul ability. I would like to get to 40 to 50 signs per turn by the end of this era. How possible is that? I'm not entirely sure. It would be something that I would like to do. Uh, you know, you never know how easy that's going to be to pull off. I would also like to do a whole bunch of chopping in my capital with Magnus. There's a ton of terrain there that we can chop our way through. And I think we will get a lot of good returns on investment from doing that chopping. I used to, I used to chop everything and we're going we're, we're gonna to go back to the old locust gameplay. Hashtag locust gaming. We have found quite a few city-states on the world stage right now. None of them really stand out, except for Mitla. If we could make friends with Mitla, that would be quite nice, because that would be plus one science in all of our uh, Seo ones. We would like to buy this tile. Do we crush it? It's the only chomp in the city. It's fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll just crush it. We'll, uh, plus four. Yeah, 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 okay. Crush that tile. Get that Seo one up ten turns away. That's fine. Let's make sure we unlock these tiles, because the city isn't doing very important or intelligent things at the moment. Uh, now, the thing is about our current empire is that we actually don't have such amazing room. What I mean by that is, like, we have, like, a decent amount of room. Like, we have a decent amount of stuff, but we're kind of sandwiched, right? We're sandwiched between two empires. We're sandwiched between tundra. We're sandwiched between desert. There's not a whole lot of room for me to express the big old expansion that you normally like to do when you're trying to build a real powerful empire. There's political philosophy, which is really quite nice. I would like to get my government plaza now, if we could make that happen. I think we're going to go into classical republic here. We will go for builder production and settler production, charismatic leader. We'll probably take diplomatic league real quick, because if I go and then research mysticism, we'll get plus one envoy. I can put that envoy into Mitla, and we'll end up with two envoys in Mitla, which is what we want. We would like to have control of Mitla, ideally, just because it's a scientific city-state, and that kind of fits with our plans. Looks like some wonders are getting cleared up. We found some resources. Yeah, we found a nice iron mine over here. So the goal here is we need, we need, more, we need more population in this city. So let me, let, me, let me make sure we're working good food tiles. Okay. Good food tiles acquired. We need to get a granary. That's big. Let's get started on... We have masonry. Perfect. So let's chop out another builder so we can start to retool the capital into something that can produce settlers, like at a reasonable pace. We want to get our governor, government plaza. We want to get all that stuff. Um, so there's the wheel. Now we need to do a little bit of tech juggling. So basically, we're going to try to not finish any of these techs. We're going to try to just invest into them for a certain number of turns and then stop investing into them. Um, that'll make sense in a moment here. So I'm going to harvest here. That's a builder. This builder will harvest this tile. And then it, that will get me another builder. And I have, let me see here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six chops here. So I'm going to chop out one more, probably two more builders, I think. Yeah, two more builders. And then we'll chop out a government plaza and a granary and all that stuff. And the monument in Gyeongju is finished. Oh, the iron mine appeared in a very, very unfortunate position. Well, at least the borders will grow in here slowly. Um, that sucks. I think I'll just go for the granary here to delay, give the city more time to grow. Let's go ahead and put an envoy into Mitlet. That'll turn into two envoys. That's perfect. Now we can go ahead and switch out Diplomatic League and plug in Charismatic Leader. Perfect. We would like to get a trade route up if we could. It's just not really on the cards at the moment. All right, we drop the mine. Boom. We chop the builder. One more builder after that's it. Yep. Then you head over here to chop this. You're moving this way. The, the tempo you get from chopping out builders is super nice. Super, super, super nice. You drop that there. You move here. You move there. We'll get this next builder soon. Perfect. And then we would like to get the granary in the watermill because we want to get the city to four population so we can start the government plaza. Right. So, chop granary, chop watermill. Boom. Mission accomplished. Extra growth acquired. Um, harvest here for one. I think we just hold on to our builder charges for a little while. We can do this. That's not a problem. There's nothing here to harvest for food, sadly. There's no way for us to get a ton of food in here quickly. Um, if there was a jungle nearby, I'd be able to make use of that. We could, we could chop out the library. There's no reason not to do that. But we could just start making more builders in the capital. Um, go ahead and get a library there. Hold off on that. Okay, nice to meet you, the Ottomans. Another library's finishing. We're up to 37. Oh no, I forgot to switch away from Celestial Navigation. 
damn it, we only got like 80 culture. Okay, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Let's make sure we get currency, mathematics, and all these texts. Okay. Small mistake. Unlucky. Um, I wasn't paying attention. I got, I got distracted. And I messed up. Um, which is funny because when I was doing my test game, I did like a 20 minute test game in Korea and I was able to like just completely nail it. But, um, you know, talking is just a distracting thing. Um, it would be good to get a trader, so I'm going to delay that because I'd like to get the currency boost. I'd also like to get a pasture. I'll go for shipbuilding because I'm unlikely to build galleys. Let's go for the camp. I would like to get this iron mine online. I'm going to harvest out another builder here. Boom. I don't really want to build many more builders because I'm making all the rest of my builders more expensive over the course of the game. Our second district here, as Korea, is rather open. In what, we, in what direction we want to go. I definitely feel like it's time to sneak out a couple of settlers. So I'm going to go for a settler in Jeonju. You go down to that iron mine. You get ready to chop this. You're clearing out this barb camp over here. You're exploring. You're doing a mediocre job at it because you keep getting blocked. We found Crater Lake, I think it is. Hey, Crater Lake. Pretty nice. Pretty good. Not particularly useful because it's really far away, but the error score from it is quite handy. Um, let's move you back up this way. Let's get open borders with Arabia. It's only 13 gold. We got stuff to sell. Yeah, we got a spare pig. Any pig buyers? Yep. Looks like she'll buy pigs for 186 gold. I should probably click through the UI slower so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Big old volcano doing work over here. Absolutely can't complain about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the mine right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Two science mines. Really, really good looking stuff here. Up to 40 signs per turn, which is on par with the Ottomans, which feels really damn good. Let's go for feudalism. That's going to be our next transition point. We... Like, we didn't even have Researcher plugged in on Pingala. Like, that's how grim. That's how grim our situation was there that we accidentally... No, he settled. He forward settled. Do I want Mathematics? Let me have a look. Which great people have gone? I really want Hypatia, so I'm going to go ahead and pass. I'll pass. Someone else can have that, because if I can get Hypatia, this is, like, great. Hold on to the chop. One more turn until you grow. You'll finish that trader quickly. The trader will boost currency. That's perfect. You're stepping up here. The spearmen should come to attack you. You're continuing to explore. This guy's on the run. Get into the hills. Oh, we found a barb camp that we might be able to yoink here with a scout. And I will. Boom. Thank you. Uh, where are we going to put this governor plaza? Honestly, it's not that important as Korea because a lot of our adjacency comes from over here. So we just have to place it in a way that doesn't get in the way. And then we can chop to finish it in one turn, which was the play. The governor title will go into Pingala. We have two more tile purchases here. Boom, boom. Let's make that happen as a builder. Can I sell something else? Diplofavor, any buyers? You'll buy a little. Can I buy? I could buy some luxuries, okay. Can I buy Diplofavor on the cheap? Okay, I can buy Diplofavor on the cheap and then sell it for upfront gold. And then that will allow me to get another builder in this city to keep the pain train going. We get the iron mine. There's iron working boosted and a two two science mine. Really, really good stuff here. I'm feeling very good about our position, right? We're up to 53 gold per turn and we're constantly accelerating. We're only on four cities. This is like the power of Korea, man. You only need a handful of cities and you could just like, you, you can pop off. Uh, this trade route, I would like to get science out of it or I would like to send it to my capital to make other cities better. Let me have a think about that. If I sent it from Gyeongju, I think I would send it from Gwangju, in fact. Yeah, if I send it from Gwangju... Wait, no, you're already at your housing limit. That doesn't make sense. Let me have a think here. Do I want Ancestral Hall? I mean, we've got a lot of room to settle. May as well go for Ancestral Hall. Free builders. We're almost we're at feudalism. We could do a second, you know, settling phase. We already have settlers on the way. That seems to make sense to me. And I can chop these two tiles and then switch Magnus to maybe a different city to do a bit of chopping, like Gwangju, Gyeongju, and then you move Pingala to the capital, try to grow the capital a little bit. You know, we, there's, a, there's a few kind of interesting things we can do here. The, the possibility matrix is wide open. We have found Brazil, which is nice. It's another little bit of error score. I would like to get into a normal age here. Thankfully, that archer just got obliterated. I'll put this trader into Gyeongju because that city needs the most help. Help. I need somebody. Help. 55 signs per turn is starting to look real juicy when it comes to the uh, turn transition. Claim great people. Ah, oh, lovely. We got Hypatia, which means wherever we have not built a library, which is over in Gyeongju. Where's the best one? Right here. Well... Right... Yeah, right here. Get that say a one, 13 turns away. Teleport you. Um, the granary is going. If I send the trader to Seoul, you should grow faster. But more importantly, you should finish that granary faster. And how long will that say I want to take? Uh, 10 turns instead. Okay, so that's a significant improvement. Chop here. 
almost finished ancestral hall, which means this settler, when he pops down, will create a five charge builder, which is exactly what we want to do. A uh, five charge builder once we have feudalism, that is, for the extra plus two build charges. Arabia just declared war. Um, but. We have potentially the resources to defend this if I can get just a little bit more Diplo favor and then sell it. I can buy an archer. I need five more gold. Let me go ahead and sell some open borders. And he, there you go. So now if I get an archer in this city, second of my three archers that I need this game. Make sure we swap this tile. We've got the library in here. We'll go for the ancient walls just to defend. It's a nice border city. You get onto that tile. I want to use Hypathia in the new city to get a free library because it's a nice use case. There's plus one science again. God, the save is just so bonkers. Let's heal up this warrior and then we might see if we can sneak in and pillage something. Get some get some value out of this war. This is the second time he's declared war on me, by the way. I want to point that out. Uh, second time. He did get a pillage on a mine, which got him a little bit of gold, um, which will give him a little bit of an advantage on this war. Um, Probably going to chop out settlers next turn, so I'll wait with that builder. Let's bring the scout over. Maybe the scout can participate. We'll bring the warrior over here. Maybe the warrior can participate. I think at this rate of like unit attacking, I don't know if he's going to do much to us. There's engineering. Like he might pillage the campus. Oh no. You know, oh no, 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 no. Would really like to get currency to build commercial hubs. I think that would be a good transition for us. Also, so could apprenticeship be. Grants is quite good here. I'm going to take Victor. I'm going to put Victor into Guangzhou. No, I'm going to wait, but I do have Victor. We'll chop here. There's one turn on that settler. Perfect. Yeah, we're, we're holding, I feel. You know, we're... He has to pass through two volcano floodplains to try and get to me, which is just like, that's a devastating thing. Now, I mean, he is pillaging, right? He cost, the, this war isn't free. It is costing me something. But it ain't costing me much, which is where we want to be. Where we want to be. We get another settler. We go here. You are scary. So I might position you here on this tundra. That's plus one error score for settling on the tundra too. Go here. Would love another archer. My current archer is a little bit preoccupied fighting up in the north. I have warriors coming. I have a scout coming. Poke in here. Can you get that kill? If he shoots back, you will die. So run. All right, a little bit of pillaging happening, but we did just kill an archer. The walls are coming up in three turns. You're going there. You're coming there. You're chopping out another settler. Perfect. So I'm feeling really good about this position. The fact that we just got three settlers in like a single, you know, wave means we're in a fantastic position. I do want to delay this settle here. I'm also going to see if I can quickly grab myself a third archer for the boost for machinery. No, nope, that was a misclick. But yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty good. I mean, they do damage this city, but like... It's nowhere near enough. Walls finish soon. Um, let's do a little search for hills again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, settle this hill. Oh, shoot. That's such a good Petra. Man, I missed that Petra city from the previous game. Dare I try for another Petra? We could, we, you know, we could give it the college try. You settle right here. You think about this. Let's uh, do a little, uh, you know. If I settle right here, I'm in range of a couple of chops. Boom, boom. These two which I could then use to translate this into a Petra city. I'm a, uh, we're going to give it the old... We're going to try. We're going to try for a good old school Petra city um, because we can. One, two, three, which means we can settle somewhere over here. Let's search for hills again to make sure that we're playing correctly because we want to settle this sieve near hills. This is the optimal Seawan location, so settling on the wheat is pretty decent. Delay that settler until we have the feudalism card plugged in. You step back and shoot. Good job. City's taken a beating, but it should survive another turn. Make sure you take the garrison promotion so you do quite a bit more damage. Feudalism next turn, that's exciting. I could, might be able to snipe this barb camp actually from the water. Oh, sheesh. So feudalism, we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Um, do we want to change government? No, I think we're good actually. I think we're good. I might get rid of colonization and instead plug in bastions to give my cities a little combat strength. Kill this archer. Kill this archer. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we just killed two archers. The city's really low on health, but it has an archer in it. It has 24 combat strength and it has walls. So he's going to have to like break those walls, I think, now before he can actually take the city. So we are feeling real good. Let's go ahead and get military tradition and military training. Those seem like good things to grab. Repair the Seowon now. We can start to put our empire back together. And now we'll get a five charge builder for free in the city, which allows us to start getting the cotton online. Oh, don't you love to see it when a plan starts to come together. That is a swordsman. That is the opposite of a plan coming together. We'll yoink this barb camp too. Thank you for the 30 gold and the two era score. God, I love, I I feel like I'm getting such a good mixture of like good and bad luck this game. It's just been a very mixed, a fun mixed bag. It's like, uh, you know, 
going trick or treating on Halloween and you just like scrape someone's you know sweets into your bag oh look what the chariot's dead we've defended another war from Arabia and, and here's the thing when you want to defend a war against the AI you want to defend like by the skin of your teeth which is what we did here. We were one turn from losing the city and we still managed to defend. Let's go and settle some wheat right here and we will continue to make the monuments. Um, how are we looking? We are very, very happy. Perhaps we should make a commercial hub. Is that what we want to do in Jeonju? Or do we want to make an aqueduct? Do we want to maybe build a couple of industrial zones? I do think maybe transitioning into industrial zones might be a good move for us here in particular because these two cities right here. Ooh, can I? I can get an industrial zone right there. Oh, 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 oh wait, hold on. Hold on. There's a, there's a build coming together here. Oh, yeah. Now this, this is pod racing. So let's get started on that aqueduct. This is going to help carry us quite a bit here if we can get that up, up and running. We will be slightly late to apprenticeship. We don't have any choice. I'm going to go ahead and start researching it now because we want to get to education so we can start getting our universities up ASAP. And oh man, 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 oh man. Oh, I'm feeling good. Uh, it's time for Pingala to get moved to the capital. And it's time for Magnus to get moved to Gyeongju. Boom. And then it's time for Victor. Victor. It's time for you to go to Guangzhou. Thank you. A little bit of a, a governor shuffle, which is uh, actually the hip new dance hitting the Civ community. The governor shuffle. Uh, this is uh, Potato FM coming to you live from Seoul, Korea, uh, with the hottest new beats. What do you? What do you? What? I, I, I'm in an archer in my capital city. The city's a little bit light on food. It's kind of being carried a little bit. What else do we need? We could continue to expand if we wanted to. I mean, it's like, do we need to? We don't need to. We don't really have that. We don't really have land for it. Well, maybe we could do something else. Like, I guess, theoretically, there's like a city here that's like actually fairly decent over there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I would have to like walk all the way down here. And I don't want to, I don't want to walk really, really far away. I think we just, we just we quick, quick, quickly, we start, we start making builders. We start improving our land. It's time to, it's time to start scaling. Oh, finally, Hypatia can be used here. Boom. Plus one science in all of our libraries. Now, we do need to be careful about how we end our turn. Um, so we got the say one in here. We have the library up. We can get our second district. The second district we would like to get could be a preserve. Could be a justifiable preserve. This game, you know, it's not the craziest thing I've ever done. It's also not the most sane either. It's kind of on the you know somewhere there. But yeah, do I want to do a preserve? It could be kind of fun. It could be fun to make a preserve. You know, we should make one. And this should be the preserve area. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's make a little preserve. Just one, just one. We're just gonna make one. Uh, we will need a builder over there. That'll that'll be something we need to get around to. But uh, yeah, tile improvements, they're on the way. You need to run away because you're getting attacked by a swordsman. I keep I keep making the mistake of doing the action and then talking about it. I need to talk about the action I'm going to do. That's a it's a big mistake I've been making in my content production for quite a while now. I, I think it frustrates my viewers. I might actually keep these two lumber mills because they fit nicely with this. I did it again with this industrial zone. Okay, a library has been completed in Guangzhou. Not a great city for an industrial zone. Could be an okay city for a commercial hub, especially if we were to buy this tile right here, come back in, drop that commercial hub. A, looking good. Next era is coming. Potential Dark Age on the cards, which, uh, you know, doesn't feel very good. Pop this city in here. This city might also be at risk too. I'm going to go ahead and improve the fishing boats to give this city a little bit of food. Might let it grow a little bit quicker. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can get some gold to invest into the city by selling off my luxuries and then using that gold to buy granaries. The granary and the monument in here, which would allow me to focus on the, say, a one if I could have, but I can't right now. That's okay. I'd love to get a trade route in this city. How long until my trade route frees up? 13 turns. We might be able to get a trader in here. We need, we're going to need to focus on loyalty. Oh, that's going to be bad. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. If, if if Arabia gets a golden age, it's going to be rough. What are they in right now? They're in a normal age, okay. Yeah, their uh, next era is going to be hard. You just have to accept that it's going to be a difficult era. All right, there's mathematics. Now we're working on apprenticeship. Our science hasn't actually increased that much since the start of this era, which is, like, mildly disturbing. Uh, can you work this instead? All right, I definitely think we should focus on growth in here, actually. The gold is really nice, too. Apprenticeship four turns. So the turn before apprenticeship, we need to do the actual optimization, which is what I screwed up last time. Go run away. Um, 
you know, a little, little minor issue. Can I peace, peace out Arabia? Is that, a, is that a thing that he might want to do? Maybe you want peace. Yeah, your army, like, went to hell. I might be able to get Russia to declare war on you in the near future. Feudalism has been completed. Let's go for our governor title in recorded history. Also, we should probably get the campus research or district adjacency bonus. That'll be helpful. Probably might want to wait. Might want to delay finishing this era then, if that's what we're going to do. We're going to put envoys into Taruga. Let's take out Charismatic Leader. We'll plug in Diplomatic League so our envoys get doubled. We no longer need Bastions. I'm not planning on making Settlers, I don't think. Am I making Settlers? I don't remember. Am I making one? No, I'm not. Well, I plugged it in anyway. Um, one envoy into Taruga and then another envoy into Mitla. So now our universities will get plus two science, which means we're... Or I didn't hover over that long enough. Plus two science for every university and consulate building. And that is something we're going to be looking to doing soon. You should be building the Petra, like so. And then you need to get onto that tile to chop the Petra. We need to wait for Magnus. We need to get two chops in here, and then we'll move Magnus over to Chunchen and see if we can't make this work. Oh, God. Can you imagine if we get this Petra, dude? It's going to be, like, the juiciest, most succulent Petra. What a strange uh, combination of words to describe a uh, district with. Um, let's go ahead and chop here. There is the Preserve. And my warrior should go help out the archer. We're up to 71 signs per turn now. Now that is a nice jump. Let's switch text here. Claimed great person. So who has gone? Who is available? Let's see. Abu al-Kazim. Okay, plus one healing. Yeah, plus five healing. Yeah, that's pretty good. We don't really care about the other two. So I might take Abu al-Kazim. Al-Zawrawi. He's quite good. Triggers Eureka from random things. Plus 20 healing. Great people, previously recruited, Hildegard of Bingen, let's recruit that, and then we will, well, I don't want to trigger that just yet, I want to trigger him next, I want to trigger him after I get apprenticeship, because I don't want to, uh, how do I describe this, I don't want to, I don't want to do it too early, because I don't want to accidentally research a text in the next era, because I want to actually show the optimization of the era transition, because that's really, really fun. So classical era in four turns, that's not the trigger, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for recorded history, okay. All right, chop this into a grove. 11 turns on that grove. That'll be a, this'll be a nice grove. Now, the grove, by the way, if you don't know, it gives you plus two food, plus two faith, and plus two culture for adjacent unimproved breathtaking tiles, which means these tiles right here, they will become like four food, four culture, four two faith, which is super nice, super helpful. All right, you're in position here. Let's make sure we buy this tile. The best way to do this is to buy this tile from Pyongyang. If we buy it from Chunchen, it'll cost 145 gold. If we buy it from Pyongyang, it'll cost us 95. Then we come to Chunchen and we swap the tile to the city of Chunchen. Then we go ahead and get ready to chop it. But we're waiting for Magnus, who we can now swap over to Chunchen. And five turns from now, we will be chopping here for a glorious 90 production, which will be one quarter of this. And we'll have to try and figure out how else we're going to get the rest of that production. But we will, uh, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm going to be a little bit sad that we're going to get a Dark Age here. I guess I theoretically I could have put the time and effort in to... Um, I could have put the time and effort in to build a couple of wonders to try to optimize that and actually get a Golden Age. I didn't care that much. Uh, yeah, we're going to harvest this. Not necessarily what I want to do is be harvesting, but we're going to harvest it because we could put a nice mine next to the Saya one. Okay, switch away from machinery to castles. Classical era ends. You're healing. Builder completed in the capital. What tiles are you working? Ideally, we need to get some food into you. Um, or just more science, really. The more science we can pack into this city, the better. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you're just a, you're relegated to being a builder city because there's nothing we can really build, build in you until you, uh, you hit the milestone. We'll put another envoy into Taruga so we get another plus two science in all of our universities, which means by the time we get these universities, they're going to be like plus eight science universities, which is sick. Um, recorded history next turn. Let's go back to apprenticeship. Next turn is going to be the big moment for us. It's going to be a big, beautiful, 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 beautiful moment. Build that mine right there. Build this mine right there. Okay, so let me show you why this is such a big moment. Let me show you the features of this moment. We're going to come in here. We're going to plug out a Settler card. We're going to plug in Natural Philosophy for 16 signs per turn. We're going to go through every single one of our cities and tell them to focus on science. That way we can bring our signs per turn all the way up by working specialists to just a hundred signs. Now, when we research apprenticeship, which means I can now trigger this guy, when we research apprenticeship, we're gonna get 200 culture, which is, uh, what? Six times our culture per turn as a burst? That is insanely good. And we could probably 
burst our way through medieval fairs. Like this is just a really, really nice burst of culture, right? It, I don't know. It's just, it's super good. Considering we're in the classical era and we're culture bursting medieval era texts, like that's nice. Very good. Very, 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 very strong. Very fun ability. So I think we go for grants here. The extra great people points could be handy. Now you're doing the work. Okay. And you are going where? I would love to improve those horses, but I can't. Go repair that mine. You're getting back ready to chop. So we should see Medieval Fairs is 14 turns, but boom. We research apprenticeship and it goes down to eight. So like we just halved how long that tech is going to take to research. And now all of those mines that we have next to all of our sale ones, they're worth plus one production. Uh, but make sure you go through your empire and turn off the science focus because you only need to do this for the the first, the, the, the third transition. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you don't care that much. Uh, and then there we are. We are happy. We are clean. We are snappy. We are schnee, schna, snappy. Let me go ahead and call that the end of this episode. We just triggered a really nice bonus. We're making 92 science per turn, which is on par, if not better than the Ottomans. We're making a decent amount of culture. We got a really nice game. The Civ is just really fun to play. There's like a whole little optimization puzzle that you do around like the era transition. Next up, we're going to go for universities. We're going to spam out universities in every city and then trigger our next big um, wave of culture. And uh, yeah, just keep powering on towards the late game potential Petra on the cards here as well once Magnus is established next turn that's going to be really exciting I'm going to call that the end of the episode though I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time bye bye